Ivan Isaac grew up on Ochapoy's First Nation. For years, he struggled with his mental health issues and loss of identity. Decades later, he realized his path to healing could be found in his culture. That culture became his therapy. Isaac says learning to dance powwow has helped him to heal from the trauma he suffered as a child. The residential school really, I, I didn't realize how much it affected me, you know, I didn't, I just thought I hated being an Indian, I thought I, you know, I didn't realize that the school, the schools, I had been to three of them, um, you know, sucked that Indian right out of me. Isaac spent 10 years of his childhood in three different residential schools. He was in the last graduating class at Labrette Indian Residential School in 1998. The same year, the school permanently closed its doors. He says he suffered all kinds of abuse. Those experiences led him into depression, and he began to use alcohol to self-medicate and cope. But after losing many friends to addiction, Isaac was determined to go down the red road, a path of sobriety. In his late 30s, he decided to go to the First Nations University to pursue a career in education. There he learned even more about the residential schools. But when he started a teaching practicum, the feelings he thought he had suppressed came flooding back. I had to push through that, right, and keep a smile on my face and teach through the day and come home and cry my eyes out, you know, and do it the next day. And, but it was healing, you know, because if I didn't go through that, I'm thinking I would still carry that. Now when Isaac feels the grief of what he went through, he turns to ceremonies to help. His ceremonial family supports him and helps him to stay strong. So I really try to stick to the culture because it's helping me um, find my way. Isaac has been dancing powwow for a year and a half now. He makes regalia pieces and gifts them to other dancers who are just starting out. He says it gives him a good feeling to be able to help others. All of these healing practices have helped Isaac to feel proud of his Cree heritage, and he plans to continue learning more about his cultural ways and sharing what he's learned with others. Darla Ponis, CBC News, Regina.